I am never selling all of my Gala, and here's why. Reason number one, it is because of Gala games, and the gaming industry, in my opinion, is just absolutely fantastic. It's out of this world, because in the past five years alone, the gaming industry has nearly doubled in size. And if you take a look at what's happened in the past five years, pandemics, recessions, all of this, the gaming industry continues to grow, it continues to prosper, and it keeps moving forward. And on top of that, as of right now, there are nearly 3 billion gamers in the world. And in fact, by next year, it is projected that the amount of gamers in this world will exceed 3 billion. That's absolutely insane. That's nearly half of the world's entire population, and the gaming industry is just something that is absolutely amazing. And when it comes to the Gala ecosystem, of course, there's Gala Film and Gala Music as well. But let's face it, right? I've never ever heard someone say, oh yeah, I'm buying the Gala token because of Gala Film. Oh, I'm buying the Gala token because of Gala Music. I've never heard that whatsoever. And in fact, I don't think they will be the major catalyst for the Gala token moving forward. I think it will be Gala Games. And playing games, it's just fun overall. Everyone loves playing video games. It's just something that's so exciting. It gives a chance for people to de-stress, kind of zone out from reality, and actually just rejuvenate themselves, right? Sometimes we're stressed out at work, or let's say we're still in school, you know, maybe something's bothering us, you name it, right? But when we play games, you know, all of that, you know, we just kind of forget all of that. We just focus on the game, we just have fun, and we just enjoy ourselves. Unless, of course, you know, we're playing multiplayer games and it's lagging, then yeah, you know, it can make you rage and be like, oh my, it sucks. But besides that point, Gaming, most of the time, is actually fun. In fact, according to this article, gaming can reduce stress in a number of ways. First of all, video games are engaging and enjoyable, which, you know, obviously reduces stress. And also, gaming results in dopamine secretion, which makes people feel good. And on top of that, video games presents a challenge and reward for people overcoming it, which leads to feeling of competence. Gaming can also create a flow state, which is similar to meditation. And I'm not some kind of medical expert, doctor, or psychologist, nothing like that, but personally speaking, gaming has just been an avenue for me, especially in the past when I used to play video games a lot, has been an avenue for me to actually de-stress and sort of just have a time to zone out because sometimes in life, you know, we never know what's gonna happen. Sometimes there may be roadblocks, there are speed bumps, maybe we get, you know, annoyed, something like that, burnt out. But let's say we play video games and we have fun, we laugh, let's say we play with friends, it's a game that we enjoy, you know, we can just distress, just have a time to zone out from reality and then let's say we finish playing games, boom continue back to reality. At least that is what I have done, personally speaking. I don't play that much games as of right now, but in the past, I used to play games so much, and Gala Games is also providing people a chance to actually earn money by playing video games through play to earn games. Think about this. When I was playing video games back when I was 13, 14, 15, you know, I wasn't earning any money from that. I was just playing for fun, right? Playing with, you know, my clan, you know, in Call of Duty, playing with friends, really no financial gain right there. But with play to earn games, people can actually start earning money by playing video games. You don't have to be some kind of famous Twitch star, you know, professional streamer, you know, professional gamer, whatever you name it. You can actually earn money by playing video games through Gala Games as games. And that's just absolutely fantastic. The average gamer can actually earn money. They don't have to be, again, right, some kind of famous star or some kind of streamer or some kind of professional gamer to actually earn an income when playing video games. And the second reason why I am never selling all of my Gala tokens is because of the leadership when it comes to Gala Games. More specifically, the CEO, Eric Schirmeyer, the great one, the legend, the genius, Eric Schirmeyer himself, who by the way, was the co-founder of Zynga. And for anyone out there who doesn't know what Zynga is, Zynga was a developer behind Farmville, a very, very famous game from Facebook from back in the day. And keep in mind, at its prime, at its peak, Farmville had over 80 million active users per month. Just imagine that. I mean, the game back then was the real deal. You couldn't find anyone who didn't play Farmville. Anyone who had a Facebook account, which is basically everyone, they all played Farmville for the most part. Everyone's like, oh, Farmville, oh my goodness, oh, my farm is this level, it's this level. Everyone was excited when it comes to Farmville. And you have to think about this, right? The fish rots from the head down. The leadership, in my opinion, is the most important aspect of a crypto project because it doesn't matter, in my opinion, how strong or how fundamentally amazing a crypto project is. If the leadership sucks, you know, if the leadership likes to give up, if they don't care about the crypto project, it doesn't matter how fundamentally strong it is, it's bound to fail. And I've experienced that in the past. I've invested in crypto projects, you know, last year that seemed so promising, but then 
the leader just gave up for whatever reason, just didn't care, times of low prices, boom, I'm out of here. But no, Eric Schirmeyer, he doesn't do that. He has the experience, he has the know-how, he has the knowledge, and in fact, Gala Games, the Gala token as of right now, the whole crypto space overall is in a bear market. Eric Schermeyer isn't giving up. Gala Games keeps developing. They keep building. And something you can't buy is experience. And Eric Schermeyer, he has a lot of experience. He is the mentality of a winner. He understands how to push through, how to follow through. And he's not this type of you know, CEO who's going to get an adrenaline rush because, oh, oh, wow. oh, there are so many gamers. Oh, my goodness. How do I continue this momentum? He's not that type of individual whatsoever. In fact, again, right, Farmville had over 80 million active users per month at its peak. So Eric Schermeyer is used to success. He is used to winning. He is used to seeing the finish line. He knows how it feels. So, you know, all of this, you know, low prices or let's say, you know, let's say Gala Games starts getting traction he's not going to be phased by it whatsoever. And the third reason why I am never selling all of my Gala is because of Voxverse, the metaverse, which is a upcoming metaverse based on Gala Games' Vox NFTs. And by the way, it is a collaboration between the mastermind behind Sims, the great Sims game, Will Wright, the great Will Wright, and Gala Games. And just imagine this, the metaverse industry is projected to be worth nearly $5 trillion dollars by 2030, according to McKinsey. Just imagine that the metaverse has a lot of potential and it has a lot of room to grow. And Gala Games, they perfectly understand this. That is why they are collaborating with a genius, with a mastermind in Will Wright. And Will Wright also, much like Eric Schmeier, has a lot of experience, he has a lot of know-how, and also he has made very successful games in the past, which by the way, is not only Sims. You also take a look at SimCity and Spore, and that's just to name a few. Will Wright is the real deal. Gala Games did a genius move by actually including Will Wright in all of this because they know, hey, Will Wright, he's a legendary game developer. He knows what he's doing. Let's include him. And that, again, speaks to the mentality of Eric Schermeyer because maybe other gaming projects out there, let's say they're looking to make a metaverse, maybe they don't want to include anyone. Maybe they're like, oh, no, we're just going to make it ourselves. You know, we're too smart. We're too good. We're too this. We're too that. And that's a problem right there because... In my opinion, when you kind of get ahead of yourself, things just typically just don't work out too good. And Gala Games, they understand that. They understand that, hey, collaboration is actually important. They understand that it's okay to bring other people. It doesn't mean that we suck. It just means that we're actually bringing new and fresh ideas. And that, again, speaks to the leadership when it comes to Gala Games. And the fourth reason why I am never selling all of my Gala tokens is because Gala is heavily focused on NFTs. And NFTs, in my opinion, have an amazing future ahead. In fact, the NFT market by 2030 is projected to be worth more than $211 billion. Just imagine that. And NFTs, they are down right now. That's undeniable. NFTs, much like the whole crypto space overall, went down. But in my opinion, we haven't seen anything yet when it comes to NFTs. A lot of people like to think that bored apes are the peak of NFTs. A lot of people like to think that mutant apes are the peak of NFTs. But I don't think that is the case whatsoever. I think we haven't seen anything yet when it comes to NFTs. And in my opinion, NFTs will make a huge comeback in the future. In fact, in 2022 alone, Gala has spent $5 billion towards expanding their NFTs. Just think about this. Who else is doing this? Keep in mind that 2022, the crypto space is down overall. But Gala, they don't care. They're like, hey, we are going to keep developing. And to be honest, I think a bear market is actually a blessing in disguise, not only for crypto investors, but also for crypto projects themselves. Because let's say it's a bull run, it's a bull market. A lot of people are focused on hype, you know, getting profits, this and that. Everything is just so confusing. But during a bear market, a crypto project can actually hunker down. They can actually sit down and actually develop. They can keep building and they can keep developing. And on the other hand, when it comes to just crypto investors, personally speaking to just for myself, it's also a good opportunity to actually study more about my favorite crypto projects. Because again, during a bull market, during, you know, when things are just popping off, when things are euphoric, when the markets are just going up the wazoo, everyone is just focused on joining on the latest hype, taking profits but they're not actually studying the fundamentals. And again, this bear market is actually giving people a chance to actually study more about their favorite crypto projects. And on top of that, personally speaking as well, again, 
I think it's also an amazing opportunity to actually scoop up the Gala token. And the way I take a look at low prices is that the lower the price, the higher the potential. Now, that's not financial advice. No one has to follow that. But that is just personally how I take a look at it. And every time I take a look at low prices, the way I view it is that they are sitting at a discount price. But when it comes to Gala, I just feel like every time I buy Gala, it keeps dipping. It keeps dipping. It's like that meme, right, where it's the dip of the dip of the dip. But to be honest, I don't care. I am going to keep accumulating Gala. And last but not least, the fifth and final reason why I am never selling all of my Gala tokens is because of the diversity when it comes to Gala games. Gala games, they just have so many games. Their portfolio is just so diverse. It encompasses so many game genres and so many game niches. And the way I take a look at it is that it doesn't even matter if all of the games, when it comes to Gala Games' this portfolio fails. It doesn't really matter because let's say they all suck. Let's just say hypothetically, of course, hopefully not. But let's say it does. They can just get another developer to make another game. It doesn't end there. It's not tied to just one game or two games. Gala Games has a diverse gaming portfolio that they can keep adding on and on and on. There is no limit when it comes to Gala Games' this platform. And also just having a diverse gaming portfolio actually gives them a higher chance of success. That is the way I take a look at it. Because let's say I only had 10 shots to throw a dart. And let's say I try to hit the bullseye, only 10 shots. You know, I'm not very confident that I'll make it. I'm like, okay, only 10 shots. But let's say I had 1,000 shots to hit the bullseye. I'm pretty confident, right? I'm like, hey, somewhere along the way, at least I'll hit that bullseye. And that principle right there is the way I take a look at Gala Games. By having that many games, they are essentially giving themselves a higher probability of success. And not all of the games on the Gala Games platform actually has to be successful. That doesn't have to be the case whatsoever. Because if you take a look at, for example, Riot Games, you know, they have a bunch of games, but what is their biggest hit of all time? What are they known for? It is League of Legends. It doesn't even really matter if they made a hundred other games that flop. It doesn't really matter. League of Legends is literally carrying Riot Games all the way to another dimension. Well, now, of course, there's also Valorant when it comes to Riot Games. But I'm just talking about just specifically what made Riot Games who they are today. It is League of Legends. And when it comes to Gala Games, I think the same principle applies. They just only need one game to essentially strike gold to send them all the way to another dimension. And what do I mean by never selling all of my Gala tokens? Of course, I'm going to take profits during the next bull run. But I am never selling all of my Gala tokens. And the reason why that is the case is because I believe that Gala Games has amazing fundamentals. It actually has a use case. If you think about meme coins, for example, Shiba Inu or Dogecoin, what is really the use case? Truly think about it. When you take a look at Dogecoin, for example, it is literally being carried by Elon Musk. If you take a look at Dogecoin five years from now, 10 years from now, do you really think it's going to be there? I mean, who knows, right? Let's say one day Elon Musk sends out a tweet and says, I'm selling all of my Dogecoin. What's going to happen to the future of Dogecoin? It's just going to disappear off into the abyss. Yeah, there are now speculations about Dogecoin possibly being implemented to Twitter after Elon Musk bought Twitter. But besides that, what is really the use case? And when it comes to Dogecoin, my biggest knock on Dogecoin is how for the longest time possible, they just didn't even care about having a use case. If you take a look at Shiba Inu, at least they're trying. Doge, again, absolutely just doesn't care in my opinion. And unlike the Gala token, it actually has longevity. In my opinion, I'm confident that Gala will be around five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, because I believe that it has an amazing future. So while I am going to take profits when it comes to my Gala holdings, I am never selling my Gala bags completely. I will always hold Gala because I believe in the future and I believe it is absolutely the real deal. And that's been it for today's YouTube video. Hopefully everyone enjoyed the video and make sure to smash that like button, click subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for the latest and greatest Gala Games news and content. It's been Lee the Captain and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.